Hello Hot Dabs, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here or if you are, you know, passing through today, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you click on this video, that means you really, really want to hear my experience. You want to learn something. Because that's the purpose of YouTube. You come on here to, you know, get information so that if you're doing things wrong, you know how to write them, okay? Or if you don't know what to do, this is a place where you can learn different, different, different things without even being charged. The only thing it's going to cost you is your data or your Wi-Fi. But aside that, this is like free information that nobody will give to you because nobody told me, nobody shared this with me, but I want to share this with you. So if this is something you really want to know, please you can stay, don't go anywhere. Before I proceed with this video, let me just give the shout outs to today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Dink. Are you looking for the fastest way, the quickest way, the swiftest way to send data or to send gift cards to family around the world? especially you know if you've traveled if that is your situation hold on a second because i have a solution to your problem i am introducing to you the dang mobile service app dang is purposely known for helping people who have traveled around the world to keep in touch with their loved ones back at home so if you want to send mobile recharge for minutes and data and connect with your loved ones you can do that within three seconds you heard me right within three seconds and all you just have to do is just download the ding app and you can just go ahead and send data or send mobile recharges to your family i just want you to know how special this thing app is this thing app is the fastest like i mean it's really quick within three seconds everything is just done the person receiving the mobile recharge does not need to do a thing the mobile recharge will just arrive on the phone what makes me love this app so much all this mobile services so much is the fact that it is available on all mobile phones and all mobile networks so if you use android if you use um, iPhone, you can still download the app and then still patronize your services. Ding offers the best discounts and promotions on mobile recharge. What are you waiting for? Please download the Ding app and I have a special code I'm going to put on the screen. Use my code for a discount, especially if you're not sure and you want to try this mobile recharge services. Just use my code, get a good amount of discount and enjoy it for free. So guys, Dang is today's sponsor and I am so proud to partner with this brand to bring you this information. Thank you so much Dink for sponsoring today's video. To be honest, today's video is not scripted. I'm just sharing my experience and I don't think I need to script it and make it look so professional or make it look so spot on. I am just gonna go with the flow. I am just gonna talk from my heart. I am just gonna, you know, say it as it is without trying to sugarcoat the words or without trying to make it sound too professional. This video is still professional, but like I am just um, literally gonna speak from my heart. Trust me, I've learned so many things, so many things about people, so many things about like lifestyle in here, so many different encounters and experiences. And honestly, nobody told me about this nobody shared this with me and i feel like this information is not being shared more because you know nobody wants to kind of be vulnerable or nobody wants to share their difficulties because right now social media everybody's trying to portray that they are doing okay that they are doing fine that they've got this you know they are doing so well but the reality of the matter or the reality of the truth is that's not it people are going through a lot especially when you travel it's on a different level However, nobody is showing that part. Everybody is showing the good part. But I am I am really also not the type of person to give too much information about myself. But and as much as I don't want to give too much, I still just want to give you like the tip of the iceberg just to give you an idea if you're traveling to a different country. Even if you're not coming to the United States and you're going to a different country, it's still gonna help you. You still need to know these things because it's very necessary. It's gonna help you any anywhere you are at the inner part of the world that you're traveling to. One common thing that people have in the back of their minds or they this kind of common notion that they have is oh when you move to the United States it's easier for you to find a job. That is not the reality of the matter. If you move to the United States, it's not easy. In fact, it's not even the United States. I feel like if you're new to any country, 
it's not easy to just find a job because even the people living in here are struggling to find a job. Trust me, to find a job is not easy. It will take you a couple of months to land on a job. And even with that, the process is not like just like that. If you're an international student or if you're coming to, to the United States as an immigrant, there are so many things that you are not entitled to. So even if you want to find a job or even if you want to do it the right way, you need to get a social security. Okay, And then if you don't have a social security, nobody's going to employ you. And even if you find a job elsewhere, outside, it's illegal. So there's a lot of things that comes with finding a job in the United States. It's not as easy as everybody thinks. It's not as easy as people make it look like or make it sound. So if somebody comes here and the person has not been able to land a job, it's not it's not as if the person is lazy or it's not as if the person is not working towards it or it's not as if the person is not doing his or her best. If you are coming in as a student, you need to get a social security. You can only even secure a social security. But you can only secure it when you have like a letter of employment. So before you go to the um their office, you need to attach a letter of employment showing that you are being hired by this particular company or this particular institution before you can go ahead and you know be issued a social security. And it's not gonna be instant, it's gonna take a couple of weeks to you know get it so it's not it's not that straightforward you don't just come over here and then there are jobs laying down easy for you to grab some them or for you to get it no it is not easy to get a job so if you're an immigrant now making plans about moving to the united states or moving to canada or moving to the uk in fact any part of the world where you decide to move to just have it in the back of your mind that it's not going to be easy for you to land a job. And even if you land a job, it's not going to be your dream job, okay? It's going to be something that you're going to feel a little bit of uncomfortable with. Unless, unless if you were able to secure the job and, you know, you're coming in. That's a different story altogether. But if you're coming in with no job, you're just coming in and you're now about to, you know, start your hands for a job, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really difficult. And I'm being honest, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to make it sound so sweet to your ears. It's not going to be easy. It's really going to be difficult, especially if you're not a student or especially if you're, you know, just coming in just like that. It's going to be really difficult. So that's one thing I feel like I had to go through because when I came in, I had a graduate assistantship. Yes, I did have a job for my department that I was already working with. So I was able to secure a social security and that helped me. But not everybody has that privilege. Not everybody has that, you know, entitlement. No, not everybody has it that, you know, sweet. Even with my process, it was still not sweet. And my story, I am really gonna share my story when I complete my master. The next thing I want you guys to know, or I want anybody migrating from their home country to abroad any part of the state or any part of the country is make sure that you have some money with you okay have money saved for probably like four five months because honestly you don't know what is awaiting you you really don't know so if you're traveling without any money or any funds that's gonna be really difficult make sure that you have some funds on you make sure you have some money on you that can take care of your rent for like for the first five or six months especially if you don't have a job and you're now coming in to find a job make sure you have money to take care of your rent because the truth is over here when it's time for your rent you don't even know who your your landlord is to go over and then ask for some days to pay for it if you're living in an apartment complex, you don't know who your landlord is. And even if you know the leasing office, that's like, you don't, you, that's, you, I don't even know what to say. They cannot help you. If it's time for you to pay your rent, you pay your rent. There's no excuse. There's no long stories. Nobody's going to buy it. So to save yourself the disgrace, to save yourself the shame, make sure you have money saved for a couple of months till you find a job and also one thing i will tell you is if you're coming in make sure your rent is already set because i've seen people 
become very stranded because they didn't even know where they were going to sleep when they got into the country they didn't make arrangements for for rent you know they didn't make arrangements for a place to sleep and then they end up either going to rent a hotel or going to rent an airbnb while they are hunting for a place not everybody has the opportunity to know somebody in this in a country to help with them with this you know because if you know somebody the person you can the person can do it on your behalf and then when you come you can you know give the person the money but if you don't know anybody and you're coming in as a student maybe you can reach out to the international student office to ask for help or i see a lot of people do facebook you know people have been subleasing their apartments to people on facebook so you can join any of these facebook groups that is in the state that you're going to so that you can link up with other people who may be subleasing the apartment or something like that so you can do that and one thing about rent i'm talking about housing in general before you can secure an apartment there are two different things you need to know and i'm talking about this from my experience living in the united states i don't know for different countries but like before you can even secure a, an apartment there are two things you need to know is either you have somebody who's going to co-sign for you or it's either you're going to pay the deposit that the particular apartment complex is requesting from you so a co-signer is basically somebody who lives in the united states and not just live here however the person is either a citizen by birth or the person that has you know has their green card or citizen citizenship and it is actually recognized by the country as a citizen so a cosigner is that kind of person in simple language for you to understand that's what a cosigner is so before you can even get an apartment if you are not from this country you need to find a cosigner so if you are not privileged enough to know somebody in the states or to have a relative or have a friend that is gonna do that for you you have to pay for the deposit and this deposit can be really expensive my new apartment the deposit i was supposed to pay was 500 dollars because if you don't have a cosigner you have to pay for that deposit but if you have a cosigner they are going to waive it for you so these are things you need to know nobody told me this nobody explained this to me i did not know i literally had to find out when i got here so if you're watching this video you need to know that if you're going to look for an apartment or if you're going to look for a place to stay you have to either have a cosigner like i explained who that person is or you have to pay for the minimum deposits even before you pay for the actual rent i hope that is clear and one thing i also want to talk to you about is finance i remember when i came into the states i came in with some amount of money and then the first bank i was able to open was bank of america which i'm not going to recommend if you're an international student or if you're coming in as an immigrant i'm not gonna recommend that bank for you because there's literally no benefits and i'm not um a financial expert i'm not you know a financial advisor but like these are things i learned by myself but one thing you need to know is if you're moving to a new country you have to be proactive you have to be somebody who loves to research because researching is not only for the, the professors or the people doing their doctorate degree. Everybody at all has to have that special skill of researching information for themselves. Because nobody's going to sit you down and tell you like I'm doing right now. So my, the first bank that I opened when I moved here was the was Bank of Bank of, oh my goodness, I cannot speak. I'm so exhausted. was Bank of America. And to be honest, I don't really... There's, there's no special offer there's no special anything from that bank if you put your money in that bank you're not you're not gonna get any interest or anything your money is still gonna remain the same even if you get it you're gonna get like 0 0.01 which is literally not gonna, it's not gonna do anything for your money i didn't know that there was something called high yield savings account it was around march that i came across something called high yield savings account and then I read into it, I checked through it, and it was legit. So I opened that account, and I'm going to recommend it to immigrants or students who are moving from their home country to the United States because that's why I'm currently saving. I am currently saving for my tuition, and that is where I keep that money. I don't, I don't, it's not my money because I'm gonna you know, use it for my tuition. I don't see it, but like, that is why I keep my money. 
and trust me this bank account offers um, an APY of 4.60 which is very high higher than most most banks that are you know very popular even in the state so I am going to recommend the SoFi bank and this video is not sponsored by this bank they don't even know me probably they know me because I have an account with them <laughs> but they have not reached out to me for me to do this video for them this is my own you know experience that I'm sharing with you if you use your checking account and if you use your savings account you're gonna get the 4.60 APY but there are so many factors into it for you to get that pro version of the account I mean of the savings account you have to be you know put in one thousand dollars and above every month you have to also be receiving your salary from the time to time the bank has to be active literally every time so your paycheck has to pass through the bank and you know you have to be saving thousand dollars and above before you can get the 4.60 APY however even if you're not earning thousand dollars and above every month you know you can still save over there because even if you're getting an interest of like two dollars or two point five dollars on your savings every month calculate it in a year and see how much you're gonna get just do the calculation you're gonna get much more than putting it than putting your money in a and a different bank and you're not gonna get anything your money is just gonna literally just be the same thing you put in there so just think about it so I'm recommending so far I'm gonna put my referral code in the description box because that's the link that I have. If you use my referral code, you're going to earn some money and obviously I'm going to also earn something. Use the link in my description box to open a SoFi savings account and earn some money, free money for just opening the account. And this is legit because I saved it. I've been saving this since March. One amazing thing about this bank account is they have something called Vault. So the Vault means you can save money for different purposes. You can save money if you're if you're a student and you're saving money for your tuition you can open a tuition vault if you're saving money to buy a car you can open a different account if you're saving money for rent you can open that account if you're saving money for emergency purposes you can open that account so you can open different different accounts in just one bank without you know your money moving everywhere not every bank has that you know special service and that's one thing i love about sofi so please check the the link my referral link in the in the description box and open a savings account that's the first thing you need to do whether you whether you don't know whether you i feel like i made a mistake i didn't so the thing is you know i didn't know because if i knew that would have been the first thing i would do like i'll open i will not even open any account with bank of america i would have opened an account with you know sofi just like that but one thing you also need to know that sofi is like an online bank so you're not gonna find any um branches or any building of them anywhere it's strictly an online bank that's why the api is higher but one thing i do with my i have two different accounts i have the sofa i have bank of bank, bank i have bank of america so the bank of america i use it for my checking account okay i use that for my checking account so the checking account is more of like the account that i used to pay my rent i used to you know pay for my utilities i used to like I, that's the money that i spent so every money that I'm, i know i'm gonna spend i put it in the bank of america checking account because they have like atms around that you can you know even either this deposit money or you can withdraw money but so far does not have that if they have it but like you're not gonna find it everywhere you can you can use it you can go to like shops or you know cvs to be able to withdraw or deposit money so but me i don't need to do it because i've linked it to my paycheck account so my 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 paycheck just you know comes through it without so many stress and another savings account that i would recommend for immigrants or international students is the capital one 360 savings account so this is also similar to sofi but the api that they give is not as high as sofi if i'm not mistaken I'll put on I'll put the information on that because you know I'm just saying these things off head. I've not scripted it down, so maybe I'm not gonna give you the accurate one. You can also open a savings account with Capital One. So far, I've not had any problems with them. It's very efficient and it's very you know good. You can use that for yourself. And I'm gonna put my referral code 
in the description box so that you can use the link if you use my link you're gonna earn money you know you're gonna earn your own money i'm also gonna earn something when you use my link to create i mean to create a savings account the easiest things about all of these things is you don't need to go to anybody or you don't even you don't even need to call anyone you just need to click on the link follow the steps and then create an account capital one you can call them and then they will create it for you but i did it myself i didn't have to call them i just sat in the comfort of my home relaxed and then follow the steps to do it and one thing you need to know here in the united states or if you want to a different country is nobody's going to spoon feed you nobody's gonna sit you down and give you like their rundown some people may have it especially if you have family here it's easy i'll put all the links in the description box for the savings account and you can use the link to you know create an account but i'm very serious about this i'm gonna motivate you i'm gonna encourage you to open this account because i know you don't have the money yet but one thing that moved me one thing i put on my vision board was to save this year so even though i didn't have enough money coming in because i have a lot of things to do i need to take care of my tuition i need to take care of my rent i need to take care of food i need to take care of like everything is on me i am my own responsibility so every money that i get i'm just looking at ways that means to save it i'm here to tell you open that savings account open it because when you open it you're motivated to save or just open it even if it's 50 dollars, even if it is 20 dollars that you can afford just put it there just put it there. it's not every money that you need to spend it's not every if you're a spendthrift if you come to this country please stop because if you're spending money on things that you don't need if you're spending money unnecessarily you're gonna go broke and over here nobody's gonna gonna nobody's gonna help you that is the truth even if you have families even if you have friends nobody's gonna help you because everybody also have their problems everybody's going through their own you know problems nobody's gonna put themselves behind and put you first when you move to United States, just know that everybody's putting themselves first so if you come here don't think that oh you have a you have a relative you have a sister you have a cousin you have a friend nobody's gonna help you you have to find it you have to make it work yourself and then one thing i also want you to know is disappointment okay people will disappoint you in this country so if you're that kind of person who is always relying on somebody to come to your aid or if you're always thinking that somebody's gonna help you please, once your flight lands and you leave the plane drop it because you're gonna be highly disappointed if you think you have a family here if you think you have a sister if you think you have a cousin if you think you have a friend that person is going to help you you're gonna be disappointed because over here everybody for himself everybody for herself and god for us all so i want you to know that even if somebody promises you something please find other alternatives don't rely on it that oh this person said he or she's gonna do this for me so you know i am holding on to that person's word please don't hold on to it because you're going to be disappointed big time it will shock you that a person who gave you his or her word will leave you in the mat and not even turn to look at you so please if somebody even promises you something make sure that you have other alternatives make sure you are looking for other alternatives if whatever the person tells you he or she does it you are good to go if the person does not do it you're still covered you know you are not going to be stranded so please do not put your eggs in one basket do not hold on to somebody's words and relax and not do anything so that's one thing i also want you to know another thing i want you to know is in this united states right you cannot trust anybody when you move from your home country and you come into a different country it is very difficult because you miss home you miss your your freedom you miss you know talking and all of that and you want to find yourself in a community you want to find yourself in a space where you you feel welcomed and you feel you know comfortable it's all good but you cannot trust anybody you cannot trust anybody you cannot be comfortable enough to tell people everything about your life because the same people are going to use it against you it's not even in the united states i feel like this is a general life you know 
thing whatever you tell people they're going to use it against you so be very mindful with what you say be very mindful about the information you give to people be don't give too much you know you can just share a little bit you can share the surface of it but don't tell everybody about your entire life about your everything that's going in that's going on in your life especially if that person's not even gonna help you another thing i also want to share with you is about having some skills so for me i would say one of the skills that i have that i developed myself nobody taught me was content creation was like even talking like this is a gift because not everybody has the confidence to you know even sit in front of a camera and talk and express himself or herself like i'm doing so this is also a gift public speaking is a gift not everybody has it communication is a gift communication skills is a gift you know be even listening is a gift you know it's i mean it's a skill <laughs> i mean a man skill not gift having all of these skills are very 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 good on your cv social media you know skills or social media marketing content creation or let's say digital creation um designing you know like all of these are skills that if you have it try and work on it to make it look better because if you have this this is going to be like an additional thing for you to make you stand out because right now social media has taken over the globe everybody needs content creators they need influencers they need marketers social media marketers they need people who are able to you know design flyers you are who are able to you know create content like all of these are skills and everybody needs every business needs somebody to pitch for them because they cannot do it by themselves they cannot use their own workers they need external people to do it for them i am currently working with the international um student services and support for the university of south carolina and one of the beautiful things that i do for them is i handle their social media page so if you go on their social media page every post every design everything that you see is being done by me which i'm so proud of these are things that nobody taught me nobody taught me how to do this nobody taught me how to use canva if you know how to use canva that's the bonus nobody taught me how to use canva nobody taught me how to use CapCut editing app nobody taught me i learned it by myself because i wanted to and look at me right now those even when before they hired me that was one of of the things they wanted me to do i handled their newsletters and you know newsletters you need to put in some designs you need to create some designs to put in there to make it very catchy so that when you send it people are you know eager to look at it the people are you know eager to read what you're sending across i learned it if you have a skill please work on it very well because it's gonna put you in a position where you're gonna be picked over somebody else because you have it so if what else, whatever skill even if you can braid hair i can braid hair but i'm not using it i have a lot on my table and braiding hair takes takes time but if you can braid hair it's good you can braid hair even if you're charging like 80 80 dollars 80 dollars because you know you're not charging so high because if you charge so high you're not going to get people to patronize you but if you're not starting and you want people to patronize you, and even if you're charging 80 dollars even if you're able to do two braids a day and you're taking 80 dollars that's like 160 dollars that's 160 and even if you do this like three times a week how much are you earning so these are like simple simple ways that you can you know earn some money while you're here so what i'm just trying to tell you is whatever skill that you have with you come here with it in one way or the other it's gonna help you to you know build yourself it's gonna help you to earn some money aside don't spend money that you don't have don't spend money that you don't have what I'm trying to tell you is if you're going to spend money and it's going to cost you or if you're going to spend money and it's going to keep you broke or you're going to spend money and it's going to make you not able to do what you're going to do, don't spend that money. And that is why I have recommended that you open a savings account. That is the first thing you need to do, irrespective of the fact that you don't have the money, irrespective of the fact that you don't even know how you're going to get the money, but open that account. Open that account because some money are meant to be saved over here we call something emergency funds when you open the savings account i told you sofi has vaults 
so the vaults you can create you can open like smaller accounts in a in an in one account that's what the vault means opening smaller accounts in one account so you can open a vault called the emergency funds even if it's 20 dollars that you have put it in that put it in there even if it's twenty dollars even if it's ten dollars even if it's 50 even if it's whatever money that you have just put it in there because they said little drops of water makes a mighty ocean so even if you cannot put 100 even if you cannot put 200 even if you cannot put 500 even if you cannot put more the little that you can put in there put it in that account don't spend money you don't have don't spend money that you cannot account for don't spend money on unnecessary things this shirt that i'm wearing i bought it from ghana i had it i've had this i've had this shirt for only god knows how long but look at how new it looks you would think i bought it new this hair that i'm wearing i bought this hair for my graduation back in 2021 i've had this hair for close to four three three years four years now maybe 2020 2020 around that time yeah but around 2020 i can't remember but this hair is that long but look at how i'm still working it this is not even the style of the hair i just have to create it you have to be creative i know you have to i mean i want to look good all the time but right now i don't have the funds to be looking good all the time it does not mean i have to look anyhow i don't have to look like what i'm going through you understand i work with what i have I work with what I have. Even if it's this this one thing that I have, I will style it differently. You will not know. You will not know that it is just one thing that I have. But honestly, I don't have a lot of things, but I'm able to style it differently so that when you see it, you may think, oh, she bought something new. I didn't buy anything new. Everything you see me wear, everything you see me wear are things I've already had a long time before coming in here. Over since, Ever since I came to this country, I bought clothes once and i'll say once like last year that was during the black friday time so november there about that was when i bought like some good clothes because around that time you know clothes are very or not just clothes everything is you know on sales even if in the beginning of the year i was going to buy something even let's say let's use let's for for example maybe let's assume i bought this this thing in the states so let's say in the beginning of this year, this was going to cost me like $50. Around black sales, I'm going to get this like maybe $20. So black sales is when if you're coming in, and that takes me to, if you're coming in as an immigrant or a student, and you don't have enough money or you don't have money to spend, save money for black sales because during that time, everything is just slashed down. Prices are just slashed down can be able to afford a lot of things I mean that's why I shop so this whole year I've not bought anything I, mean, I have a list of things that I need and I'm saving towards it hopefully by that time I have not used that money the priority for me right now is my tuition so every money that I'm saving is for my tuition that's my priority so if by that time I've been able to pay off my tuition and I have a little bit of money with me I'll be able to you know patronize things I want to get but if I don't have it to that is fine we have to understand that we are it's not every season that you're gonna be comfortable okay it's not every season that you're gonna get everything that you want you have to make adjustments you have to you know make accommodations for different things so it's okay if you are not able to do what you want to do it's okay just believe that there's gonna be a time you're gonna be able to afford everything that you want to afford so guys these are some of the things i really want to share with you I'm not gonna talk too much. I have a lot of things to say, but I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want to bore you, but these are very good information that you need because nobody told me this. If anybody had told me this, I would have been working towards these days even before I got here. But one thing about this place, nobody tells you anything. People are expecting or waiting for you to ask them, even your friends. They know things they will not tell you because you've not asked them but i feel like friendship should not be like that friendship should be like oh girl like i know this or you know i've heard about this and i feel like it's gonna you know help you so this is it oh you don't know how to do it okay i can help you figure this out we can do it this way we can do it that way nobody will do that for you nobody so you've got yourself and it's just you and god and it's just you and god so these are helpful tips for you if you're an immigrant if you're a student or whatever purpose that is bringing you to the states whatever you are here for 
please listen to this video take some good information out of it and i feel like you know you're gonna do better and no matter how it is no matter how difficult it's gonna be i'll just encourage you to keep going i'll just encourage you to keep pushing i understand that sometimes it can be very overwhelming especially if you don't have family if you're here by yourself or sometimes you have family but you know everybody's just minding their business if you're going through that if that's your story i get it i get it because i know how that feels but just keep pushing just keep going if you're a christian keep praying keep believing keep trusting god that he's going to come through for you. Even if it's the last minute, God is going to do it for you. So anytime I talk about God, I get emotional because, guys, he took me from a dark place. He took me from from a place where I was really struggling. So I, when I talk about God, it just brings a lot of emotions. And, you know, like I told you guys, I will share my story with you guys. but. I want to finish school first and then I will sit I feel like that video is gonna be like a podcast thing because it's gonna take like an hour and more because I have a lot to share with you guys but till then thank you so much for watching this video I hope this video blessed you I hope you learned something out of this video do not hesitate to share this video to a friend even if you are not in the United States, yes, and you're making plans to move here, watch this video before you make that step. If you're getting value from this video, you know what you need to do? Please hit the like button because the more you like it, the more YouTube is going to recommend this video to other people. And the more you're going to also support me because, like I told you, nobody told me this. So if me taking time out of my busy schedule to come on here to share this information with you, I feel like the... The little you can do is support me by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, just a thank you is okay for me. And if you have, you know, just been dating me on this app, if you're just dating me on this YouTube app, please stop dating me. Let's get into a partnership. Get into a partnership with me by hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. Thank you so much for doing that for me. Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving a kind comment. And thank you so much for sharing the video as well. And guys, so I see you taking care of yourself. And remember, God loves you. And whatever you're going through, you are going to overcome. See you all in my next video.